Are you looking for some awesome VR FPS games? Well, look no further because today I'm going to show you some amazing FPS games built for VR that I know you will love. Sit back, relax, and let me show you. First up is Onward, a tactical milsim PvP first person shooter. This one is not for the faint of heart and it is for pretty much hardcore players. You have to work closely with your team in the heat of battle and engage in the most realistic combat experience available in VR gaming today. Available for both Quest and PC, this tactical shooter will have you sweating like crazy. Because this operates as a mil-sim shooter, the time to kill in this one is very quick. So when you do have an enemy in your sights, it's important to go for that kill quickly and effectively. If you are looking for a run and gun shooter, Onward is not that game. You must play and think tactfully to be even halfway decent at this game. There's also a separate mode where you can fight bots as well, which is pretty fun, but the heart and soul of this game is for the PvP, and remember, not for the faint of heart. Squad up with your friends and get ready to roleplay as a mill sim dude. Up next, we have Pavlov. Pavlov VR is a multiplayer shooter built for VR with heavy focus on community features. With realistic reloading and fast paced combat, with realistic reloading and fast paced combat as part of core features, get ready to play the number one most popular VR PC shooter today. Pavlov is also available on Quest in a beta version called Pavlov Shack, but they are two separate games. Pavlov is also cross play with the PlayStation VR 2 version version as well. What you will love about Pavlov is the variety of guns and game modes. Pavlov VR has tons of accessibility features to help you in your gameplay. Things like hand smoothing all the way to virtual stock, this game helps you become better. With game modes from search and destroy to battlefield style push and rush modes, there is something for everyone in this game. Even espionage with playing TTT or prop hunt. This game recently came out on PlayStation VR 2 as well as just upgraded their engine to the Unreal 5. This game is one of my personal favorites and I implore you to at least try this one out. You will not be disappointed. Up next we have Contractors from Caveman Studios. Contractors is a team-based competitive multiplayer shooter game for virtual reality. Experience the next level of virtual warfare with hardcore controls, lethal weapons, customizable loadouts, and intense firefights. Get ready to become an operator. What was once in the shadow of Pavlov, Contractors has made a name for itself. With tons and tons of community features and mods, there is literally nothing this game can't do. From Star Wars to Halo to Team Fortress 2, there is a mod for almost everyone's personal favorite game. There's casual modes, there's competitive modes, there's a custom server browser, there is an in-game mod manager just downloads whatever you want when you select a server. There's even a cooperative mission-based mode as well as a survival game mode. So if you fancy co-op versus PvP, this game still has it. What makes this game stand out from Pavlov and Onward is that it's pretty much the call of duty of VR. A very fast time to kill and intense movement options, you can jump and slide around while being engaged in a firefight. This game is also available on the Quest and has crossplay between PC and Quest even with mods. This game also features fully physics-based weapons, so you can't just peek a weapon through a solid object. Contractors is a fantastic game that has grown immensely in the last year and a half. You will not be disappointed with Contractors. There is literally hours upon hours of gameplay, so much so that it's limitless. Up next, we have Breachers. Breachers is a tactical 5v5 VR FPS. Plan your assault or orchestrate your defense as a team through intense close quarters combat. Climb, vault, repel, swing, shoot, and strategize your way to victory in stunning environments. If you're familiar with Rainbow Six Siege, well, this is literally the closest equivalent that you can do in VR. Now, this game is a little bit more expensive than all the other ones, coming in at $29.99, and unfortunately has a lot less content than these other games. However, this game is highly competitive. With semi-destructible environments and customizable loadouts, you are gonna have to plan your attacks and your defense like it's a science. The game also has a very quick time to kill as well, so you can clutch a 1v5 and make your mother proud of you. 
This game is also available on Quest as well as PC and is cross-play. So you will almost always have someone to play against. But if you find where you don't have anyone to play against, there are also bots where you can either practice on or just have fun versing. The game is slowly growing with its updates. It still has control point and TDM, but there's not much after that one. Like I said earlier, this plays almost exactly like Rainbow Six Siege just in VR, which is awesome because you are the one that gets to place down the plastic explosives and you are the one that repels through a window. So that feels excellent. I'm hoping this game gets a little bit more game modes, especially for the price, but there's definitely a lot of fun to have with Breachers. Moving on, we have War Dust VR. Join the fight in War Dust VR, the ultimate FPS shooter with immersive VR gameplay. Dominate expansive battlefields with diverse vehicles, exciting mechanics, and strategic control points. Join your team and become a champion of this multiplayer war today. If Breachers was the Rainbow Six of VR, War Dust is the literal battlefield of VR. Fly things like helicopters, drive boats, and operate tanks. This game has everything. And of course, you can fight on the ground like a regular soldier as well. I have so much fun playing War Dust when I can find a server, which is the major downside. A lot of the times it's really hard to find a server with actual players. However, similar to a lot of these other games, it does support bots as well. Recently, this game has come out with a lot of community features, meaning mods and maps can be made, which is excellent. It breeds a lot of life into the game. It just needs the community to help it grow. The shooting in this game feels awesome as well, with really no complaints there, but it does still suffer from the occasional VR jank. It may not feel perfect where you place your hands on the rifle or where you place your sidearm, but a lot of that stuff is forgivable once you start playing it. The game looks pretty decent for a spectator, but I will say in the headset, it's not as high quality as it should be. But when you're accounting for 64 active players on a server at any time that can use every vehicle, different loadouts, it is to be expected. If you do pick up War Dust VR and get into a server that is populated, you will have an absolute blast. Up next, we have Zero Caliber. Zero Caliber is the ultimate VR FPS single player slash co-op campaign and now PVP with mod support. With over 40 plus realistic firearms and melee weapons, 100 plus unlockable skins, 50 plus attachments, realistic physics and progression. Get ready to immerse yourself in the action and customize your gear and unleash your inner hero. When Zero Caliber first came out, it was pretty much just for single player or cooperative gameplay. But recently it came out with a major update that added multiplayer and modding together. Originally this game had mixed reviews, but recently it has very positive reviews, meaning that the company went back and actually saved this game, which is fantastic. I had a ton of fun just playing the regular co-op missions and single player, that was a load of fun. But now with its multiplayer update, the gameplay feels like you're playing contractors. And apparently it's super easy to mod this game as well. So if you're looking for a game that has an awesome campaign and cooperative and now has PvP, look no further than Zero Caliber. Next up, we have a game called Crunch Element. Raid destructible compounds using explosive gadgets and tactical weaponry. Hone your close combat skills in a constantly changing compound layout and blast open entry points with explosives to get the perfect shot. Team up with your squad or take on the challenge as a lone wolf. Crunch Element is a single player slash co-op experience only with no PVP. It does have mixed reviews, but most of those mixed reviews was before the game had a lot of its major updates. I do have to wonder though if the development had slowed down or has been abandoned, but don't let that scare you off. The gameplay in this is fun. It's challenging as heck, even as a single player as well in co-op. This game, it does have single levels that change constantly or you can do a raid mode which is procedural and it's up to the player to get different loot and extract and it is really fun to mix and match your play styles blow through walls get a sledgehammer and take down well people that look like they're from kill zone you will have a lot of fun with the destruction and the physics based stuff and if you do have a couple of friends you can play with it is even better I'm not sure if this game is truly abandoned, but it is still fun in its current state as a single player as well as a cooperative game. Last up, we have Tactical Assault VR. 
Virtual reality tactical shooter centered around close quarters battles. Play solo or multiplayer co-op to breach doors, clear rooms, and defeat an enemy threat. This game does not feature any PvP and is solely focused on player versus environment. The focus is completely on the player versus environment with up to eight player PCVR multiplayer cooperative gameplay. And the time to kill in this one is extremely quick for you, your friends, and the enemies. Although the levels may not be procedural, where the enemies are and the amount of them will be, as well as the missions that you need to do. But if you are looking for something that is procedural, they have a kill house options that can be whatever it wants. The game is also available on the Quest and is crossplay with up to four players between PC VR. You have to calculate physics-based bullet drop and a time to hit for a more challenging simulation. It's not really just a run and gun situation. The maps themselves are also non-linear, so it gives you technically an endless variety of things to choose from, from infiltrating and completing the mission. Sure, you can enter the building through a door, but you can climb a ladder and reach the rooftops or go through the windows, whatever, the choice is yours. What I do wanna tell you about is they do technically have um, a PVP mode. It is in the early stages of alpha, but if you want, you can get in on that and test your skills against other players in multiplayer. However, for the most part, go in there expecting an awesome PVE co-op tactical shooter that is a load of fun. And there you have it, my friends. Those are some of the best VR FPS games that you can play right now. I personally own every single one of these games that I have told you about and have hours upon hours on all of them. But anyway, those are my recommendations. Hey, listen, if you are new to downloadable content, why not consider subscribing? I'm thinking about doing more of these type of videos to let you know what amazing VR games are out there that I love. Make sure you hit the subscribe button if you're new. But other than that, I'm Drifter from Downloadable Content, and I will see you next time.